Kurt Feuerherm is an established artist. His art is part of the permanent collections at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, as well as right here at the Memorial Art Gallery. This painter, sculptor, and educator is based in Rochester and has spent much of his career imparting knowledge, technique, and inspiration to countless students. I'm uh, Kurt Feuerherm. I've been a painter for past 45, 50 years. I've lived in Rochester quite a long time. I came to Rochester in 1953. Um, I had graduated from Yale uh, School of Art and then um, I was looking for a job and um, there weren't really any jobs at that time. This was in the, in the early 50s. It was very hard to get a teaching job. And, um, but my former wife got a teaching job in Rochester, so we uh, moved to Rochester. And uh, I got a job right away teaching at RIT and uh, also the Art Gallery, the Memorial Art Gallery. I've also taught at MCC. I taught at Alfred University, University of Washington in Seattle. And uh, I finished up in the SUNY system teaching at Empire State College as a mentor. Well, I've always felt that uh, painters were teachers. And I've often heard uh, painters say, well, don't get into teaching because it's really going to um, take away from your creative time. Well, I've, I've not found that. I've found that it's very stimulating for me because of the interaction with students. Well, my philosophy of teaching is, is really teaching everybody as an individual trying to find out what they want to do and uh, how they can get there. I've traveled quite extensively in Mexico. I've been in Italy, I think, six or seven times. Basically, that's, it, it's important to me because seeing artwork in its original state is very different than seeing it on a slide in a classroom and uh, there's a kind of a tactile quality that you get from looking at the thing and also it makes you look at how this particular painter has done something and it takes uh, a kind of mystery out of it. It just, you, you, you look at it and you say, aha, that's how it was done. You know, I, I was, went, went through a period of where I wasn't quite sure whether I should be a painter or not and I went to the Francine Clark Museum in uh, Williamstown and there was a little Dutch painting of the landscape and it just, it just sort of clarified it for me. Here was somebody showing me what it was like in Holland in the 17th century. Now, and you could get the atmosphere and it made you think about the lighting, everything, you know, because it was it was not an electrical lighting era. It was, a, it was a candle and oil lamp era. So it had a very different feeling about it. A show that the Met, it was the first show that the Met ever did of contemporary artists. I mean, up to that time, they, they showed nothing but art that was uh, already established. And it was a very controversial show because a lot of the abstract expressionists boycotted the show. And so I was in this, this national show, and I was featured in Life magazine, and it was just a, you know, very, it says that, like, young, young talent that's coming up. You know. Well, landscape painting, when I went out to the uh, University of Washington, I got enamored by the landscape because we went, so we went into eastern Washington, and eastern Washington is a wonderful landscape. It's just full of canyons. They call them coolies. It has all these wonderful color combination of moths and moss greens. And How do you know when a painting is finished? I don't think you can always... Well, I know when my painting is finished. I know I, it just... I said, that's it. That's enough. You know, I, but... When, but when you're when you're talking about somebody who's just out of art school or just starting to paint, it's not an easy thing. I think your style or the way you look at things will will appear no matter what area you're working in. One of the things that that sticks in my mind from my mentor Seymour 
is that he said, try to make every painting an experience. Not try, don't try to, to repeat them too much, but make each painting an, a, a different kind of experience. And that's what I try to do in the paintings. We, oui. <laughs> see. <laughs> okay. That video was produced as a part of the annual Makers and Mentors exhibit going on right now at the Rochester Contemporary Art Center. Go check it out, and you can learn more information at rochestercontemporary.org.